The Liberty Disc Golf team has had one of the program's best years to date. SF Flames have managed to come home with not just individual event place winners, but multiple team crowns at each event. The season so far has been great for us. We've had a really strong start. We came out the gates with uh, the Southeast Collegiate Open, which is one of the biggest tournaments we'll play all year. And we were able to play incredible there and actually win that tournament. And then we rolled from that straight into our flamethrower um, collegiate championships. And we were able to win that as well. So coming into this spring semester, we're feeling great. Um, we have the Clemson tournament coming up, which will be the last tournament before uh, nationals. And that'll be probably our best tell of how we're doing right before nationals. The flamethrower in the beginning of the semester, we weren't really competing against another girls team. It was kind of just us competing against ourselves, which is good because it gave us practice and a lot of the girls are brand new to the sport, so it gave them the opportunity to kind of learn how nationals is going to go and be able to play in a big collegiate tournament like that. The Flames program has been able to develop over the course of many years, where they have been able to have the men's team finish in the top 10 of the nation over the last few seasons while the women were able to bring home the program's first ever national title last season. I think the, the freshmen coming in and really pushing all of us has helped everyone a ton over the past two, three years. The, the new guys and girls coming in have pushed us to where we can't just be the same player and be on top anymore. We have to grow, we have to get out and practice more than we're used to. And that's been something that's great for me and I know some of the other uh, more experienced players on this team because that's pushing us to get better while we're here so that we don't get to these later tournaments and are kind of in shock by seeing how good the other players are. Now we're the players coming in and players like, oh wow, Liberty's like actually a force to reckon with this year, whereas in previous years we've come out the gates hot and kind of slowed up in the spring semester and I don't think that's going to happen this year. Um, and the girls coming off their national championship coming into this year, they already have momentum and then they've all just been getting so much better this year. So it's been exciting to see and I, I can't wait for nationals. This season, the Flames have been able to bolster one of the program's strongest rosters as both the men and women are looking at winning not just the program's first individual champions, but also bring home a pair of team titles. Just to expand on our team and, and who we are, I think the disc golf world is recognizing collegiate as a significant part to that element of the sport itself. And so our team is growing by leaps and bounds because kids from their sophomore, junior years in high school are reaching out to us, asking what it's gotta to take to be a part of the Liberty Disc Golf team. And so they're researching, they're kind of finding out that they wanna to come to Liberty because of disc golf. And so that's, that's a sign that your program is growing, that you're doing well, that you're in the forefront. Obviously having our girls win last year, uh, on a lot of media exposures, we're out there and, and Liberty was in the top. So that was kind of uh, really a, a platform for which we were going to grow from and, and expand our program. But it's been neat to see the, the, the student athletes come in this year and just really understand that it's more than just a club sport. It's, it's really a good opportunity for a forefront to show their you know, testimony on the course, uh, to build into each other who they are. Um, as teammates and things like that, so it's been awesome. I think it just is a testament to how much the sport is growing itself. I mean, the sport grows exponentially every year, so that gives us a better sample size to pick from with our team, and just with more people knowing about the sport, there's more people that want to pursue it as something they want to be good at, and I think that really helps our team as a whole. With the team having only one more competition before nationals, the Flames are using that event to help with prepping the team for the three-day national championships at the end of March. Yeah, so we're in here, on Monday nights every week. Uh, we usually get in two or three rounds a week on top of that, including putting practice also. Um, we're all watching videos of past tournaments at those courses to kind of learn what to expect. We're practicing um, different shots with landing zones in here about what to expect and stuff like that. Um, I know one of the, our champ flight team just played at that course, so they know what to expect. They've been talking to us, helping us helping communicate to coach like what we need to be working on to really improve at those courses and play our best. We're prepared to play in all kinds of conditions, but having one more big tournament at Clemson kind of set us on the pace to give us about three, four more weeks of practice. I think we're a month out from today to be at Nationals. We'll be driving down a month from today. And so that's exciting. The buzz around here is, is exciting. Little things to kind of keep their motivation focused is what kind of practices for the next little bit are going to be about. So that's what we're doing today. Just Mental, mental, mental.